Hey, this is Ferg from the Atari 2600 Game by Game Podcast, and you are watching Papa Pete, the Old Guy Gamer. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the Old Ass Gamer. Papa Pete, the Old Ass Gamer. If you have been grown up by the age of 15, you don't have to.
There we go. Okay. All of that, and I didn't have any mic turned on, so that's good. We got to fix up now, so that's good. Sorry about that. All that thing I said, all the intro I did, uh, and it was all lost. So I'm going to really basically start over again and just say what I was saying. Listen, guys, uh, thank you so much to NT INTV Prime for doing this. Uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't make it out to the Portland Retro... And I got to see where I am. There, we'll turn that off as well. Uh, I had the sound coming through my ears this time, so we got that fixed. Yeah, first timer, eh? That's great. Anyway, guys, back to what I was saying before. I've used up, what, five or ten minutes of my time already. Uh, today, I'm going to stream for two hours, and I'm going to do the first hour. is going to be some, uh, some homebrew games, and I am going to... Uh, stream first of all a classic game here pandora incident which was just available i'm gonna move that back out good uh pandora incident which was just recently released again they released eight copies at two o'clock today uh public beat time that's 10 a.m pacific standard time on the blue sky rangers uh uh ebay store and unfortunately they went really quickly when i last checked there were still some copies of star mercenary left that were released this morning so if you're looking for a copy of Star Mercenary from Electro Knight, those fantastic titles, uh, by all means, you should uh, you should check it out. I'm not guaranteeing they're still there because they were going fast and there weren't many left. But uh, uh, back to as far as being at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, uh, man, I wish I could have got out this year, but I just couldn't do it. I know I'm being represented by the, the television collector himself, Luke, is sporting a Papa Pete t-shirt out there. And uh, that's awesome to see. He sent me a picture a little while ago. And when we were talking... He, uh, he also gave me special permission to preview today one of his uh, new uh, releases that are coming in uh, coming in uh, later this year, probably November release. It's going to be IC005 or IC006. He just released the names of his two titles this weekend at the PRGE, but I'm going to be the first one to get to stream it. And uh, if you're familiar with the uh, Commodore 64, you're probably going to know this game. It's one of the more famous games for that system. Uh, I know you probably already know what it is, but I'm going to wait till I actually play it to show you. And then afterwards, another game, uh, I'd say I'm going to start with the Pandora incident. Another game I'm going to play is Space Battlestar Galactica, I like to call it, or Battlestar Galactica Space Battle. Uh, fantastic game by Intelli uh, Intelligent Vision and Intellivision Revolution. One of my all-time favorite uh, uh, homebrews. I did it on the NT Homebrew Spotlight back, oh, I think episode 9 or 10. And, of course, Pandora Incident I did in the August News and Spotlight Review. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I talk a lot about the game, explain the game. Man, it's been hard to get. People are just itching for that Pandora Incident. And uh, hopefully we get more out to everybody who wants one. The eight that they had today for sale, just like that, gone. Um, all right, yeah, I can't believe I turned fret that mic. That's cool. I meant to leave it on the whole time and uh, then turned it off because I was on a little bit early. Anyway... Uh, without any further ado, I don't know who else I thank because I thank them all when I when you couldn't hear me. So let's get on to the gameplay. We're gonna get over to the Pandora incident here. See if my sound's working there. Again, on the Intel uh, Ultimate Flashback. Hopefully they start producing these again soon. That would be awesome. Uh, all right, here we go. Start that up. I'll play this for a little while. Uh, just a bit. I'm not all that great at the game, frankly, unfortunately. Hopefully the sound is at good levels. Uh, this, with me talking, you still hear me, but hear the gameplay as well, because it does have fantastic sound. The Pandora Incident. All right, so let's just start. I want to see what the options are. I don't remember. It's been a while. Skill normal. I'll just play normal skill. I'm going to show the intro, because you got to see the intro. This is beautiful. We'll exit out of there, and we're just going to start the game, and we'll go through the intro right here. The distress signal. Yeah, these are such great graphics, and I mean, yeah. while I'm let's say here hit the button for them to go on. I thought they'd roll through, but they don't. Commander Ellen and Norbert, the ship's resident android, are discussing the event. Who 
knows what they've been up to. Can't be anything good. The, uh, when you think about the original 125, the detail that goes into these games nowadays is absolutely amazing. He's going to check out the ship. The Costaguana finally reaches the distressed ship a few hours later. As Ellen takes a shuttle to board the ship, Norbert stays behind. They agree to stay in touch. Well, I would think so. While we're getting ready to play, I am going to enjoy one of the very last for Pickaroons. I'm going to have a Melonhead. Right there. Melon flavored beer. It's, I've had many different ones in the past, but this is one of my all time favorites right here. Can't sit and play games and stream without enjoying a nice cold beer. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. I'm going to get the actual the actual overlay out. Put it in my controller. I don't get these games. I do collect them. But I mean, I collect them to play them too. So I don't worry about the using the fire, commit. Okay, right. It's very uh, strange. Like you look at the bottom. There's your the green arrows of your life bar. Um, that's ammo call elevator hit the side button yes it's important it takes time for the elevators to come i'm getting messages all over uh, somebody out there this show one out there you know here me being the new guy you know i just friggin uh stream for 10 minutes without even having my microphone turned on but you know the first time the first time i streamed i remember i was interviewing cyrus martin and i went 10 minutes without actually even starting the stream we were talking he goes i don't think we're actually on the air you know so i was this isn't quite as bad but pretty much all right and thank you to steve for letting me know too because i got a special message and the only way i found out all right so the different direction go through the doors uh you check out the people, try to find ammunition. Like a lot of the doors like that, when armory is locked, go this way. And you go to the different terminals. And this is where you learn different, almost like quests. So we'll hit number one for Dr. Foss message one. Really a detail game, eh? Not an action game per se. But it is got action in it, so. The laser is extremely dangerous. So somewhere that's going to come into effect later on. Pandora News. Come see our newly renovated Bay 2, accessible through the lift next to the dining hall. Bay 2 is home to our state-of-the-art escape module. There you go. So that's where that's going to come into play. And the last one is Dr. Foss Message 2 can't believe you have installed the laser switch button in the wrong place. I need to be able to use the terminal after the laser is on. And I'm going to show you what that does, actually. The log out of there. So, that's this is the laser room. There's the laser. Turn laser on? Sure. But now I can't get out of the room. So, that's it game over we'll start it over <laughs> we, I can skip right through that uh, the introduction but I had to show that I don't know why but I had to show that I guess it's not all that quick is it That was the first thing I did the first time I played the game. I walked into the laser. I thought, oh, I can walk out around that. No, no, you can't. All right. And frankly, there's nothing really else out there. 
to do. Oh my god. And Norbert, you won't believe it. And you can't get hold of Norbert back on the ship. Return to the shuttle now. Call the elevator. The elevator's disabled. So I can't go back down there to my... So let's go this way. Here's a person. There, ammunition found. So you always walk over the bodies to see if you can find some ammunition. Oh, sort of different. Like, okay, see, there's the perspective. The, but now the room has changed perspective. That's back towards that room. And I have to go, like, down. And actually, see, is this the game with the map? Does this? Yeah, see, there's how you build your map. You can see this. Over here. What's this door? Oh, it opened. Get the map. See, I'm over in here. That's a, up to level two. So I'm going to go over this way. That goes down. That's lift two, but it goes down. Okay. Pod room locked. Look at the map. It's the lifts, the different lifts. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try this one first, I think. It is important when the enemies are coming at you, you have to wait for the elevator trying to run away. It's just not, it's not a game that's designed for huge combat. Look at this. That's not good. There's a lot of body parts there, but there's only like four people. way before it's been a while since i played it max health okay that'll get your health back that's good to know there's another lift let's take a look at the map right, this is level two this will take me to level three. Oh, wrong button we'll call the elevator see what happens hello mr elevator More ammunition. Max health. Checking this out. Oh, way over there. Okay, that's different. See, if you look down below, it's the number of clips I have, each with 50 uh, shots. Control room is locked. Storage room is locked. And that's where they are, right there, so. Remember, it's, it's it's a rather big world, really. I just haven't taken the time yet to go through it all. So we're the nuclear, obviously, something to do with the engines or whatever. Open terminal? Yes. All right. So what are we going to find out? Reactor log, unlock shield, Dr. Jordan message. We'll go reactor log. Reactor room, door malfunction. Reactor enclosure, breached. Shield automatically raised for safety. Hint. Uh, don't lower the shield. So don't do number two. If you do that, uh, or maybe unlock it. Maybe the that doesn't open it, but that doesn't, I don't know. But uh, we won't open the shield right now. Anyway. Creatures may want to storm the reactor room. Lock it up and stay safe. We'll keep it locked. I'm going to just log out of there. And if you look over here, there's another terminal. Oh, lower shield. Uh, no, I won't lower the shield. And I'm not going to unlock the door. I'm going to go out of here and go back. Seems to me I didn't go that way, did I? Or I did. Yes, I do. Oh. I did go. Yeah, that's right. Down in there. A lot of moving around. Watching my time. You know, it's a matter of, of learning where everything is, right? Sort of looks like something to read, but no, it, it's not. Let's go this way.
the one that goes up a level. Let's see what these doors are. Laboratory's locked. Containment is locked, whatever containment is. Oh, there's the medical room, so that's good to know. That's good to know. So any of those, they really want to know where those medical places are, I think. And we'll call the elevator. Takes a while. Oh, there we go. All right. We're about to get some action, I think. Open terminal, sure. We'll check out, see what's going on. Reactor status? Critical. It's not good. Abnormal movement. Attempting communications with Costaguana. Unsuccessful. I guess that was who we were talking to. That's us, though, the Costaguana. Shuttle dock bay one, cargo pod one open, pre program two, manually disabled. Warning imminent risk of loss. So there's somebody in cryopod two. Second, telling us. We get out of here. We go. Oh, bridge should be this way. Whoa, a, maybe that's a hint. Dead guys. We have two terminals. We have one here. Purple one. So we'll read what they have to say. Crew status: Associate data and open cryo room. I want to open the cryo room. Now unlocked. Now I gotta remember where it was. Your status. Total associates, presumed dead 28, alive two, unknown organisms, unknown. Visitors one, which is me. Uh, associate data. Ariston Burr, intelligence officer, profile classified, location classified. Newton Jordan, science officer, location cryo pod two. So that's who's there. Requiring medical assistance. All right. We'll go over to this one first, though, before we start going back down there to that cryopod. Research bulletin. Going for oh, Tyrells, going full steam, or specimens of all ex have extreme strength beyond all expectations. You yeah, wonder what could go wrong there. Stop by the lab, third floor, to chat with Dr. Jordan and learn more about our super soldiers. Button. 424. Oh, I was going, there was one more there, wasn't there? I didn't read. Enable bay one left. There. I'll act it so I can get down to my shuttle. Log out. Uh oh. See, it took 20 shots to kill him. And I got hurt a bit. Eject pod? Uh, no. 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 Oh, shoot. There we go. So there's the enemies, but the trouble is you just don't have the ammo to fight them all. You got to avoid them or I don't know what else. Oh, elevator. Uh, Yes. Yes. I don't want to go back that way. There's nothing over this way. But that'll come soon enough. I already called it once, but I guess it, as soon as you leave the screen, I mean, you have to do it over again. 
Oh, this is back where I was, for Pete's sakes. I don't want there. I'll check my map. Wow, that took a lo long time to get there. Wow. Max health. Is he coming at me? Oh, I don't want in there. Right? No, I didn't want to go that way. Yeah, we'll call this elevator. Get in there. Map. I need the map. All right. What's over here? Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I want to find that pod room that I opened up. It's not locked! I thought I unlocked the pod room. I think this will take me back to the... Oh! Oh, no, this is... Oh, okay. So I found the doctor. Just by accident. Doctor, I'm Ellen. You need to wake up. Your pod is malfunctioned. Monsters and cars should be careful. Wow. So I had to go to the lab. I'll get the card for the lab now. I got somebody with me. All right. Well, listen, I have played this now for about a half hour. We'll find some more creatures there. And I guess we don't know what happens when I die anyway. right in. Open that hatch over there, please. Open hatch? Sure. So he enters one of the pods. Go to the fourth floor and eject me from there. Wow. Pretty detailed, pretty adept. I, I love it. Don't forget to check this for the card. Oxygen key card. Ah, oh, now it gets serious. We'll call all the elevators. They're going to come out. Both of them are going to come here in a second. Ah, oh, there we go. I went this way. Right? This goes up. I get up to the fourth floor. Okay, over in here. Eject pod? Yes. And that's it. I don't... Wow. I'm almost out of bullets. Well, I have eight plus one more, uh, one more clip. Anyway, that's a good little preview of the very beginning. There's a lot, a lot more to this game of Pandora Incident. So I'm going to back out right there. We're going to move on and play another one. I'm going to give you the sneak preview of the new release. I'm going to turn it right off here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go out of that. And I'm going to give you a sneak preview of 
the newest game from the Intellivision Collector coming out. Uh, talked to him a little while ago. He gave me the go-ahead because he released the name at PRGE today. So this is probably the first that you're going to see of it streaming. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth here a little bit. But right now we're going to do this to get into it. Here it is. One of my all-time favorite Commodore 64 games, Beachhead. So let's play a little bit of Beachhead. And you'll be able to play it in, oh, in a month or so. I see 005 or 006 from uh, from Intellivision Collector, so I'm gonna get it going. I this is a testing, uh, this is a testing ROM, so a little bit different. I'm going to go out of that for a second. I can go back in. Here we go. Now it looks very familiar. If you're familiar with the game Beachhead, I loved this game back in the day. And this is a game that I had sort of brought up a few times that would make for a great, uh, make for a great homebrew release, you know, something, bring it back to the Intellivision. I remember this, this game, like going through the caves, trying to get the ships through the caves. I think I try to, there's 10. You got to try to get 10 through. And of course, however many you get through, you, you have 10 to start. If you, some get blown up, you lose them. So you have less of the later levels uh, later on. Now, I've already told you, though, I am playing a testing uh, version of this game. So. At the end of the day, the gameplay is the same. So you get to see this is really well done. I got through. I got three left to get through. Uh oh, there he goes. What do I have? Last one. tenth here we go this is on to the next level or back out this should be back out to the screen yep you see there there's my squadron there's the planes coming at me all right here we go you have to hit there's two you let the thing chart your guns go down they charge back up right the three see how it's 40 millimeter gun is counting up you get down to oh four five I don't know what that is. oh it took out one of my ships i get a little Spurts in this where it's, I don't hit, can't hit anything. <laughs> it's funny.
We're plowing them down here now. Oh, there goes another shot. charge back up here oh get it anything there we go we're back on him now Gotta be getting close to having enough of them here. It's probably 20 or 25 that I have to hit. And I don't, I lost count of how many I've hit actually, but. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go, that was enough. So now I have the ship attack. Fifty two foot short. Thirty four, so we'll go up here. Hard to get that one, man. It's hard to get that one. No. It's gone. You get that one right off the get-go, I think. Oh. How short am I? Get rid of the destroyed there. Under short. So 4.5 up is 54. Try that right there. Let's take your time. You're better off to count it out and try to get it. 54 short. Yeah, we'll go up this high. I think it's going to be more like in the 80s. 81. Let's see how short that is. Oh, that's right on. Okay. Let's see where this one goes. At 80 degrees. It. It's not showing me how short it is here. Oh, there we go. Uh, eight hundred long, so I'm going to go down to 78. No, 76. There. Try that right there. Perfect. We're at 76. Let's see how this one goes. That is 1,000 short. We're going to 81. How's that? Right there. Should be on him. It is. So, according to how many ships you get through, that's how many tanks you have to attack the final beachhead. Let's go. This is not all that easy, but uh, it's, a, it's just a lot of fun. It's really smooth. It plays very smooth. Alright, here we go. Watch where things are going to show up. They show up. It gets more difficult as it goes on. I don't really even need to attack him. It's points, but... That was smart. Okay, here we go. Not very smart. We're going to stay down at the bottom. It's, uh, it's 
so we can take get rid of that guy at the first as well. At the beginning. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm a lot better at the uh, caves part of the game than I am the tank part of the game. Well, that's all right. There we go. That's how you do it. Where's the next one? It's kind of stupid. You, you set yourself up to uh, take out the targets that are attacking you. You run into something. Oh, that's it. That's a tricky one right there. That sucks too when you miss that bridge. Okay, now, as quick as possible, get as many of these each time as you can up. Three is good. Three is really good, actually. Uh, usually I only get two. So. Now it's going to be, there's going to be some more enemies this time coming through. I'm just holding in the button to fire. There we go. We're through. Looking for the white dots. I got two that time. That's five. Ah. Oops. Got him, but I didn't go back up. Had to go back up. So I know that's where he is this time. So I'm going to stay down at the bottom. Maybe there's more room at the top. I don't know. Hmm, where should I stay? Yeah, 800 points, but at what cost? So... We'll get through this last time, I tell you. There we go. Oh, that sucks. It'll be, it'll be back there again. First one. Tricky shot. Okay, we're... Oh, no, he was... Oh, late one. Ah! Hey, you know what? I only have one more to go, and that's okay. I'm cheating anyway, so we're going to call this a game. 
you can check it out when you get your copy next month right here we go perfect so i'm gonna play one more game i got a few more minutes before the end of the first hour and i'm gonna play a little bit of space Battlestar galactica great game by uh intelligent vision through intellivision revolution uh, i was lucky enough to get it back when it first came out way back when uh really happy with this game love space battle love love space battle so let's check it out here where do i have to go for it all oh, right there okay back over right there okay let's do it find my controller and here we go love the theme great job of the music All right. I don't know which level is which. I'm not going to play the hardest level. Um, I don't even know. Okay, where okay. Hit. And this one, you don't just have five squadrons. You have uh, attacking you of Cylons. I haven't played this in a long time. I mean, a space battle, basically, but I love it. I was trying to get that go go to battle button. Quick. Nice. Oh, and I gotta hit radar screen every time too. And he'll automatically go back. I'm gonna send the blue one now and get ready for white go to battle because I find you lose one. Oh like if you let it go at all to uh the computer battle like instantaneously you, you'll lose a man and it kind of sucks really love love the way they use the voice of this this is very loud in my ears actually but hopefully it's not so loud in the stream all right so we got to go back out to the radar just checking my levels here that levels look pretty good though on that hopefully it's good uh we're gonna send the white one of that blue still got three oh nice beautiful all right so he's going for that one putting the blue there white go to battle I'll send the white one right after him now. Blue go to battle. We ready? There we go. Oop. And this game, I'm telling you, it may start off easy, but it increases in difficulty. Unlike the regular space battle, where you start at a level and it uh, just stayed that way, this one gets more and more difficult as the game progresses. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to start losing computer control fighters. If I'm going to screw it up, I want to screw it up myself. And believe me, I'm capable. And we get out of there. Good. There you go. Again. Yeah. All right. We'll go at it with the blue. Now, 
I am not sure if my stream is going to turn off on me or not in between the two sessions. I am going for two straight hours. This is the last homebrew I'm going to play. But if it does, it does. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. Hit return to base. And look at that. Lost one. Instantaneously when I die. Got Whoa. Whoa. Good shot. There you go. Uh... All right, so. They're coming quicker now. Good shot. Whoa, that was done. Saw that one coming, just couldn't get out of it. Good shot. Ah. Oh, frig. There we go. White. Now. Split two. We're good. Shoot. Whoa. Oh, no. See, if you look now, you, you'll probably can see that their bullets are tracing me much harder than they were before. That's it for White Squadron right there. That's done. Um, We're going to take this one. I only got 23 left to get. We're going to go here. Hopefully we can do better over here than we did before. Oh, get on here. Whoa! Jump ups. We're struggling. We may not get through this. Okay, send the yellow one out at that one. You get your timer up there going too. Wow, I still see 15 left. That's all, but there seem to be a lot of them here. You can go to the battle right with that yellow and right off the get-go here. There we go. Shoot! Down to three fighters. Oh, two fighters. Wow. They're all over me now. As easy as it feels at the beginning, it gets more difficult. Good shot. Whoa. Oh, no. Is that it? I think that's the last one. Yep. I am not going to make it through this one. Wow. I get not, it says nine. Oh, nine more to plus the ones that are out here. And that's it. Game over. And that's just about the right time. Anyway, it's four it's fifty-six on the clock. Uh, we'll let it run down. Under attack. Under attack. Oh well. Under attack. Under attack. Under attack. The battle is over. And you know, I love that. 
And I'll tell you why I love that. Because he played Space Battle for years and I never would lose at Space Battle. And this game is friggin' challenging because the difficulty ramps up so much. I wasn't playing the hardest level, but towards the end of it, I had not in real practice for it either. But towards the end of it, it just kept getting more and more difficult. And it's a real challenge. And it's a fun game. So, man, Dave Harley created this game and he somehow made it so that would ramp up as you play. Uh, it's perfect. And I have beaten it and I have lost more than I've beaten it, but it feels like an actual accomplishment when you win nowadays. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, you know, routine, you know, to, uh, maybe if you pick the fastest difficulty level in the original space battle, you might not win, but you usually did anyway. This game is a son of a gun. It really goes at you towards the end of the game. As you saw, it was a piece of cake right at the beginning. It was easy. And then at the end of it, it was really, really hard. Anyway, you know, my hat's off to, to that creation. That, that was something else. Um, all right. Well, listen, I am rolling into hour two. I really don't know off the top of my, I'm going to take a quick look just to see what the scoop is. Uh, see if I'm supposed to sign off and back on or not. Um, but I think everybody else is going. I don't know that I have to. Oh, oh we're getting it up and running. So I'm here. Oh, no, this is where I was. He hears me now. That's a good sign. He hears me now. I hear you now. Um, <laughs> okay, so listen. Uh, I believe that I'm still streaming, so I'm going to take a brief little break, like I'm talking two minutes, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to play some Tron games, and then if we have some more stuff to do, eh, that's what we'll do by the end of the hour. So anyway, cheers to all you guys out at PRGE. I wish I was there, uh, but... This is the next best thing. Thank you, Any Prime. Again, INTV Prime. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, thank you to Luke for letting me stream uh, the bit, a little bit of Beachhead there as well, because, I mean, that was special mission. That's probably the first that we've seen of the gameplay, other than it being right there at PRGE right now. Uh, everybody at home got to see it too. Um, and I guess I'll say it again. Thanks to the guys like Carlos Madruga and William Muller and Rev and Dave Harley, who created these fantastic freaking homebrew games that we games that we get to play, and uh, what Kai Magazine, because now today I finally picked up a copy of Star Mercenary. I was one of the lucky ones to get one. Um, when I'm on break, maybe I'll check to see if I see if there are any available. I'd be very surprised if there's any of those left. Definitely none of the Pandora incident. Anyway, um, I am going to finish this, take a little break, and I will be back in the meantime. Enjoy. Enough of that. <laughs> We're back. I said I wasn't going to be gone very long, and I'm not. So now I'm going to have from the Church Brewing Company, Wolfville, Nova Scotia, a Congregation Pilsner. And I wish I had a picture up here ready to show you right now. I don't. 
But uh, church brewing is literally built in an old 18th uh, century church uh, down in Nova Scotia, Canada, if you know where that is. I know Luke knows where it is, but a lot of you guys may not. A uh, very old, old part of the country. And it's a little bit controversial, them putting the, the brewery in the, the old stone church, but it's an absolutely beautiful spot. And they make a fine beer right there, church brewing. Uh, just angle it in there right there. It's beautiful. And my kid, 64 Bit for Life, just moved into that area. We've been down a couple times over the summer, and it is, uh, it's a really wonderful place to go. So if you're ever thinking about going on a trip and looking for someplace nice to see in the summer, <laughs> in the summer, it is Canada after all. Uh, although the winter's fine too. I mean, if you're into that stuff too, by all means. But uh, come on up and go to visit Church Brewing in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. Um, so I'm going to play this game first because I'm really hoping I can beat this game. I know the pressure's on. I have beaten this in the stream, so if I don't manage to do it today, I'm back and find my stream where I do it. I did beat it too, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I am going to play first and foremost. Probably the orphan of the uh, IntelliVoice games, the one that people play the least, Tron Solar Sailor. We had this back then. Uh, I like it. I really do like the game. I'm going to use the overlay. You really don't need the overlay for that, but it's not a bad thing. It does have a few things on, like to get the score, to leave the MCP, change beam. Okay, those are all the buttons up top. It's just a matter of playing it. Uh, in television, uh, television, oh, sorry. The Televisionaries podcast did a great episode on Tron Solar Sailor, Keith Robinson game, uh, after he uh, had passed away, uh, sort of in, in used a lot of the clips that Paul had uh, over the years talking about it that he hadn't used in any of the shows before. It's a fantastic episode, uh, so I do recommend you check that out for sure. Tron Solar Sailor, yeah, it has its shortcomings, but at the end of the day, it's it's still a pretty good game. Frustrating in a lot of ways. Um, I had only beaten it once in my life before I beat it in the stream uh, a while back. So we'll see how this one goes today. And I am going to use the pause cheat if I get to the second level. Better have that drink now because I don't know if I'll get to later. All right. Let's find it on here. Okay, I... Before I switch the screen, I'll actually scroll my output flashback down to the T's instead of making you seasick trying to watch it. There we go. Now we'll get that over here. Here it is. Tron and Solar Sailor. I'm not getting any messages from uh, in INTV Prime that I'm not still streaming, so we'll assume that I am. And I didn't have to sign off and back on, so here we go. Mattel Electronics presents Tron. That is beautiful. Right on. I love that that voice. Okay. Uh, no speeds in this game. You just just start playing. I got my got my paper ready. I got my pen ready. There is a version. Dave Harley has made a version that you don't need the pen and paper anymore. I haven't tried that one yet. I gotta try it sometime. Uh, it's going to be on the Tron Anthology as well. If you watched the last episode of the INT, uh, Inti Homebrew Spotlight, News of Spotlight, I talked about the uh, that the Tron Anthology that's going to be uh, published by... Uh, it, it, it's an Intelligent Vision publication creation, but it's being put out by... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't matter. Intellivision Revolution, but it's going to be the Intelligent Vision versions of the Tron games, which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. But I have not tried them all yet, so I'm looking forward to that quite a bit. Um, I gotta get the ROM sometime, actually. But meanwhile, let's get her going. Track seven, location zero, goal sector three, and the number seven three two two four. Something I never knew before. Of course, the seven to start. That makes sense. And I, for Energy some medium. stupid reason, Energy did not realize that the second number. Energy medium. Get up there. Energy there we go. I. And again. Energy I. We've been hit. Energy medium. This is not really a great spot to be. Uh, back this far in the screen. I'd rather be at the front of the screen. But frankly, there's no recognizers on this level anyway. Level 7. Oh, what I started to say is the second number in the code they give you is always the sector that you have to go to. 
which is always three, four, or five. I've never, ever seen anything about those three. Televisionaries yeah, talk about that two. same thing in the podcast. Uh, so you know what the first two numbers are, so for whatever reason you don't have a number, you can guess it's a one in a thousand chance instead of a one in a hundred thousand chance, right? <laughs> like, it really matters, but... Three. Frankly, yeah. let's, let's my, let's I go real low. I'm not even going off this track. I'm just going to ride it right to the white beam in sector three. Yeah. The IO beam. No, oh, it's low, but I'm, I'm there already. Okay, so seven, three, two, two, four. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Get ready to write down the next one, and I'll have to pay more attention to the actual game. Next level. I will get sent back. Goal, Sector 4. Four sides. Five, four. Five, four, seven, two, six. Seven, two, six. Energy, five. Alright, so it doesn't really matter. Energy, five. Uh, please be high this time and I'll be more happy. Energy, five. There we go. Okay, now I'm cranking it right up and getting over to this side of the screen. We've been hit. You will get recognized in the screen, so I must pay attention. You know, even Energy though when you get way off to this side, seven. I find that the tanks still hit you. I don't fire at grid bugs. I don't fire at tanks. I just fire at recognizers. I watch for recognizers to come and try to keep my energy down. Because you use energy of shooting, too. So if you arbitrarily just are shooting at everything, you're just knocking your energy down. So it, it's not of an advantage at all points. This game, who cares about points in this game? The object is to beat the stupid thing, so. Alright, so. Energy's low, and I just passed the one that goes up, so that sucks. I gotta go up the next one. I'm trying. And I wanna go, not that one, I want this one. There we go, that's good. Also, the big trick as well is that, that was, this, oh, there we go, here comes one, but oh, wait, 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 and drop one. I swear to you, I fired backwards, I don't know what happened, I waited, it did not work, sector so I, four. oh, Energy medium. sector four, oh, sector four, okay, I'm in number six, sector four, so now, what Energy I was about five. to say, Energy low. sector six. Vector 6. We've been hit! Energy high. Energy medium. We've been hit! Wow. Vector oh well, seven. that's alright. We've been hit! I gotta get back to zero. So I'm on track 6 now. Which are these ugliest tracks. The odd number, or even number tracks are just, they're hard on the eyes. I would have rather took me back to number seven, frankly, because if I beat this one, I'll end up, I'll end up uh, going to four. Four is another one of the not black tracks. Hard to say. Ugh, but this is gonna be all right. Track six. I need to go to now four. Six four six two six. Six four six two seven. So I gotta get off this track. We're going to Sector 4, so... Get off! Get off! Energy medium. Again, though. Level 6. Energy high. There is no... Uh, there are no recognizers, so I can just ride them. Oh, what did happen there? Energy low. I must have hit the button by mistake. Energy high. There we go. And one more time. Energy medium. Oh, now it's medium. Energy low. Track six. Sector zero. Sector seven. Energy medium. Energy high. Oh, I didn't want that. Zero. I'm struggling here. We've been hit. We've been hit. Energy high. Sector 
Energy high, energy medium. Yeah. Energy low. Wow, I'm really strong. I can't get the high energy to go with this direction. Sometimes you get on and off, and it'll be, it'll go up. But. Energy so we're gonna try. Energy oh medium. no, didn't want that one. Energy high. Energy medium. We've been hit. I'll ride it out for a couple, where it's medium at least. It was just low. Now it's medium. Love that music. Not repetitive or anything. <laughs> We've been hit. Energy low. Okay, so I gotta get and of course it's just after I pass a downward one. Sector five. We've been hit. We've been hit. Energy low. There we go. So this should just be the Oh no, now we should be fine. Energy low. <sighs> To this Energy one. Like I said, even though it's the same beam, it will be different. Just Sector jump on and jump four. back off. I should be fine to get to the We've middle now. Hit. Energy low. We've been hit. All right. So six four six two six. This will take me to We've track four. Three or five, please. Yep, five. Four, Four five, five. Seven, nine, zero. Seven, nine, zero. Energy five. All right, that's not too bad. So I'm going for five, so I want to head in this direction. So I'll speed off to this side and take the first one off. Energy low. We've been hit. Energy medium. Got him. Okay, just got him. Energy low. Medium. Well, it's medium. We've been hit. Man, I got lots low. of room around me. Oh, it's low again. We're gonna go Energy right to the bottom. Medium. See what we have down here. We'll regret this. Where are ya? Energy Where are ya? We've been hit. Energy medium. We've been hit. Vector seven. We've been hit. Energy low. We're back to having recognized you, so we have to pay attention. The worst part about it is, is you go up two every time you get a correct, you know, you actually solve or get get the right code. So I'll go from four to two, but I don't go from two to the center. I go from two to one. So it's not best to be on the even numbers. What sector are we in now? Track four. Sector six. Six, so I gotta get through this one to We've the center hit. of five. Get off, get off. Oh, no. five. Can't get off that one. Oh, I was lucky there. Energy high. Okay, now. And over one more. Energy medium. It's alright. I'm gonna go to the white to the IO beam right here. There we go. So we go four five seven nine zero. Seven nine zero. And up we go. Track two. Goal sector three. It's two, two, three. Three, three, nine, six. Three, nine, six. Energy five. All right, so I'm going for three. This is actually three is about my favorite one to go because I'll speed over there. Get off of the first Energy one. Medium. Don't don't accelerate here. I know. I'll get on to this one. Medium. medium is okay. I'm and I'll... We've been hit. 
Alright, I waited too long that very first time I did it. It just didn't fire soon enough. Sector 1. Let's get to number 3. I'm telling you, Sector 1 is hectic. Sector 2? I don't have much experience with Sector 2 because... Just look at the recognizers and trying to keep my power up. We've been hit. We've been hit. Get off, get off. Oh no. We've been hit. Energy low. Okay, up, yep. One more. Energy medium. No, yeah, that's alright, I'll take medium. We've been hit. You will regret okay. it. Okay. Yeah, well, hopefully you do too. There we are. So, this is 23396. And it uh, takes me, this is going to take me to one. This is like I said before, it sucks. A two, you always jump two when you get it. This will take me to sector one. You always have to beat sector one. So, am I ready? I am ready. And we'll hope for a three or a five. And I didn't get either one. One, four, two, nine, six. Two, nine, six. Energy five. All right. You so. will regret this. Ah! Energy Instantaneously. Track two, sector six. I can't allow this. Buggers. We've been hit. I can't allow this. Energy high. Energy medium. Oh boy. Energy medium. Energy medium. Energy high. Energy low. Oh, energy low. That sucks. Sector I'm on seven. I'm on seven. You will regret this. Okay, I gotta go down the next one, down two. Energy there we go. Low. Not this one. This one. We need to... Energy medium. All right. We've been hit. That was We've seven. Oh, here comes one. Energy low. Come on. Sector zero. And zero is where we need to be. All this is doing is give me the code. I'm in two again, right? We're gonna go for three. Two, three, one, three, three. All right. Energy Let's high. The time here. All right. So energy's high. We go to sector three. We've been hit. Energy high. Not even looping here. Energy low. I don't want to. I'm not accelerating because I'm trying to get back down around and accelerate towards three. I'm not firing because I'm already at low energy, so we'll go down this one. Energy high. And we'll go on to this. That didn't work energy for me high. at all. Yeah, I got that messed up. But we're alright, we're alright. We've been hit! We've been hit! Energy medium. We've been hit. Energy high. Energy high. Watch this. Okay, we'll get up Energy around. High. Way to the top. Energy medium. This is a bad spot to be. Frankly. We've been hit. I knew 
goes bad. It could, didn't fire forward. Oh, it's like a three. It took me to four again. So at least it was good to be that way. We've been hit. We've been hit. Energy medium. Five, four. Oh. Four, four. Five, zero, five. Three, eight. Four, five, five. zero, three, eight. you change on me? We've been hit. Energy high. That's actually not a bad thing. We've been hit. Energy medium. Sector 7. We've All right. Been hit. We've we'll get been this hit. yet. We'll get this yet. I might use my whole hour streaming on Tron Troller Sailor, but... We'll get this yet. We've been hit. Energy low. We've been hit. Sector six. You will regret this. We've been hit. Get off, get off. Hey. Energy low. Energy high. There we go. Great sector, anyway. We've been hit. There we go. All right, so four, five, zero, three, eight. That'll take us back to sector two again, which we've beaten sector two once before, but it only takes us to one. Two five. Two five. Two five five one four. Five one four. Energy high. You will regret this. Whoa! Be ready when it opens up. Let me tell you that. Energy high. Energy low. Ah, ah. in the middle. That's not a great spot, but that's okay. It's better than some places. Sector seven. We're going for five. Two, five, five, one, four. We're just going to get there and put it in. And we get to level one again, which we've been to once, and they instantaneously put us back. Oh yeah, that's the direction I want to go to. Oh, I was about to change it. That was it. That is a challenging freaking game. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I really wanted to beat it. I really thought I could get a good one in there, but that just goes to show you. It's another one of these games that uh, you're never going to be able to beat it every time because it's just not going to be good to you every time. The controls are a little bit difficult like uh, to get that shot at the... At the uh, uh, recognizer exactly as you want it but uh anyway oh well nothing to complain about that's that's a fun game i did all right um man i really wanted to beat the stupid thing again though It'd be the third time ever i'd beaten it but that's that's okay so and actually you know what hit, hit the time just about right because i was going to play um two different games actually you know i'd almost rather play this one again and i think i'm gonna I want to try this again. I'd almost be better off to go right from the friggin' start 
at number seven and do it. So I'm going to beat the damn thing. That's just what I'm going to do. So let's start it again. I was going to play Tron Deadly Disc, Mattel but you know what? Tron. Yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But we're going to give it a shot. Seven. Three. Seven. Three. Zero. Seven. Two. Zero. Seven. Two. Energy medium. Coco. This game frustrates me, Coco. You want out? Alright. Level three, sector seven about literal. Oh my god, that cat's heavy. One good thing about Sector 7, right? No recognizers coming at you. We've been hit. Energy medium. Sector 3. Sector 3. And my energy is still a medium, so at the very beginning, this is it's pretty easy here. 5 isn't even that bad, so we'll see what we can do. 7, 3, 0, 7, 2. We'll be on Sector 5. Three or five, please. Three or five, please. Four. Five, four. Five, four, one, six, two. Energy medium. So, the only good thing about one is four. It doesn't matter which way you get, what direction you're going Energy in. Energy medium. We'll just hope, if this is high, I'll just crank Energy it. High. And we're just going to crank the speed as fast as we can. And watch out for recognizers. Here's a recognizer. We can hit energy medium. I wait, I remember that very first game. I got the bad spot we right off the get go. When I waited too long to fire the recognizer, ended up on that even numbered uh, we can hit. track, and that's. We can hit. I don't like it. Uh oh, we're gonna get off because I don't like low. Energy medium. Medium, and we're gonna back over again right here. Oh, there's one. You can only have two shots on the screen at a, at a time as well, so you can't just arbitrarily start firing shots at those recognizers. You really have to wait for it to get the position where you can hit it. And a lot of the times, it, it'll come right up to the track and come straight along behind you. That's why it's nice to be off to the side like it is, because it lets you fire straight hit. back along the line to hit it. That's a good strategy, really. We've been hit. Vector four. Oh, yeah, I was going to four this time. I think I was going to three. We've been hit. Energy low. Uh-oh, just go. Two more two more be beans there. Let's go. Here we are. All right, so five, four, one, six, two. Five, four, one, six, two. So we will be on track three. Challenging track. Uh, four again. Three, four. Three, four, six, three, six. Six, six, six in. Make sure there's nothing coming at me right off the get go. Taking this one, and the energy's high, we're cranking it, and away we go. You will regret and there's this. another one. Sector one. Love it when those guys just come right in behind me. Let's see, fire right back down the track and try to take them out from a good distance. So when they come at you at an angle, it's, it's rough. It's really rough to get that right spot of the disc to hit them. Sector 2. We've been hit. Energy medium. 
Drinking a beer, shooting recognizers at the same time. Gotta love it. Energy's low. So screw up. Screw up. Screw up. All right, I gotta get off this channel. Energy low. Right to the top. Right to the top. Be high. Yeah, it's better than low. Go away. Sector four. They gotta throw a couple more recognizers at me yet. We've been hit. Energy low. Come on, get there. And we're there. Okay, three, four, six, three, six. And I am going to be on track one, and I'm gonna be friggin' well ready. Three or five, please. Thank you. One, three, one, zero, two. And I'm ready. Energy low. And I'm aiming in the right direction. We've been hit. We've been hit. Get off, get off. Oh my god. I can't allow this. Energy get off. low. You oh my god. Regret this. Get off the Energy medium. Energy. Where low. the hell am I going? Energy oh my medium. god. Give me some friggin' energy. Energy high. We've been hit. Energy medium. Energy high. Energy high. You will regret this. Energy medium. Oh no. Vector seven. It wouldn't energy give me the fight, but at least I'm on three. Where am I? Track three. Vector one. Oh, brutal. Okay, okay, we're trying it again. Energy medium. Energy right. medium. Sector zero. Damn it. Oh, that's frustrating. Sector three. Access code. Three, three, two, seven, one. Three, three, two, seven, one. Get over here. Come on. Oh, it went off twice off to the angle. Oh no. Energy Well, so much for that idea. Sector five. It goes bad, it goes bad, eh? I can't allow this. Energy high. Oh, it didn't go up. Why didn't it? Sector four. You will regret this. Same thing right there that I did last when I got oh wow. I might as well just keep going. Ooh. I know it's 4-4. Four, four, right? I know it's 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. What's the chances? We'll say 754. No, 752, we'll say. That wasn't it. I had a one in a thousand chance of hitting it. Energy medium. Oh, why are you switching on me? I didn't hit anything to switch. Energy high. All right. We've been hit. We've been hit. Energy medium. I think I want to go down next. It's not going to be the next one, but there it is. Medium. I really didn't need to on medium, did I? Energy low. Well, no, I guess I didn't. Sector two. Energy 
And I missed my turn. Missed my turn! I have to circle around the block. And I know it's Sector 4, I gotta go... Oh, what's going on? Stay here for a bit. I looked away for a second at the screen and I got caught by a recognizer. Energy and it took me the way back to six. back to seven, I'd almost rather get back to seven as the same number and they look better. Well, the good news is, again, there's no recognizers on this level. I've been knocked back that far. And I really thought I'd get through it this time, and I didn't. Sit back and relax. And I keep getting We've knocked back. Energy low. Sector seven. Yes, I can. Energy high. Energy medium. We've been hit. You know, sometimes getting to the second stage is bigger than We've winning the game. Energy low. I said that I was going to, uh, that's the one going down, so I don't want the next one. I want the one after that. Uh, I said I was going to use the cheat if I get to the second stage. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to the second stage, possibly. What? It didn't switch for me. That's just, that's a common problem for this game. I'm watching Will this time. I haven't touched it. Yep. Yep. Energy medium. Very frustrated there. All right. Energy high. Energy medium. Six, five, three, one. And we're gonna try it again. I'll be on what? Number four. So I gotta do three more to get to the middle and without getting knocked back. That's pretty rough. Goal sector four. Four, four. Four, four, three, zero, one. Energy medium. Alright, so we're going to four. It doesn't matter. We'll crank it around here. Energy low. You will regret this. Well, no, they're not taking any mercy on me, are they? We've been hit. Energy medium. Sector seven. And we'll just keep rolling around. This pink We've is awfully hit. hard on the eyes, so. I think we're still all right We've for energy. Energy low. Energy is low. Next one down. I should take it, I think. This one should be right here. Yep. I should be able to go to the bottom and just keep going. We'll hope it's high. Yeah, it's medium. Oh, great. Now, this one could be 
up again now, just as quickly as we get off it. Oh, why did it? Energy high. Energy low. Energy medium. We can hit. Six. We're headed to four. We're out. We're in five. Wait, four, 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 three, oh, one. One whole track away here. One whole sector, I should say. beam now. There it is. Okay, 44301. Track 2. Oh yes, of course it's 4. 2, 4. 2, 4, 2, 9, 8. Energy low. Alright. Oh, start me right off with low energy. Should have three recognizers on the screen. I can only have two energy shots. High. And I complain a lot. Energy high. Energy's high. We'll crank up our speed and watch for recognizers. This is when it says, this third, these don't seem as bad as I remember them being. I think the pink I ones about this green one is not too bad. Because I know number one is red on red. It's really hard to see the recognizers in some cases. <clears throat> We've been hit. Energy medium. Sector two. Don't take my eyes off the screen here. No time for a drink. We've been hit. <coughs> We've been hit. Oh, come on. Sector to go. Oh, come on. I'm almost there. Sector four. We've been hit. We've been hit. Energy medium. I'm going way to the top. Energy medium. We've been uh, hit. Energy low. I right, one more. All right. All right. So now, this will take us back to number one again. Which I've been to three times. I haven't been able to make it so far. If we don't make it this time, that is the end of the game. Because we're almost done my stream time. I'd love to get to the next sector. But at the end of the day... Okay. Ears are comfortable. Get comfortable. Sector one coming up. I'm going to be ready right out the get-go. They throw a recognizer at me to knock it out. Yeah, there was. I won't drink that till after. Okay. Here we go. Back to sector one. We'll see what happens. Oh, I better write stuff down here, too, I suppose. Three or five, three or five, three. Yeah. One, four, nine, six, six. Energy low. Low. Oh, it's high. Okay. Okay. See how the red crosshairs? It makes it harder to see the recognition. It did it again. It didn't fire straight back. Ah! Be black. All right. Track three. Sector two. We can hit. Energy low. I know it's low. Oh, I'm frustrated. 
Oh no, it'd be the worst spot possible. I'm not gonna make it through this little sector. Energy oh. Oh. Energy I gotta get down. Energy medium. Over one more. Energy low. Oh, of course it's low. Energy low. You will regret this. Energy low. Energy medium. Energy low. Energy high. Alright. Wow. Hey, look at the time. 547, my time. Another 13 minutes of the stream. I, I gotta consider this a wait if I just make it to the end. I can't allow Oh, it. yeah! I sincerely have to ask, how was I supposed Energy to defend medium. against that one? Right? Track four. Sector four. Sector <laughs> three. Oh. On that note, guys. I made a valiant effort. Someday I may play this again, and I am going to beat it. Because I really do enjoy the game. As much as some people don't like it, I really do like this game. It's frustrating. And sometimes... Oh, that's the score button. Okay. Energy high. Well, there we are again. I don't even know what sector I'm on. We'll go four, three, one, two, eight, five. Sure. That wasn't it. I suppose you could just keep looping around and try it over and over again. Track four, sector three. We know it's four, three something. Anyway, on that note, we're going to bail right out of there. I've got just a few minutes left in the stream. Uh, a little different without a chat in the stream. It's hard to, to keep it going like that. But we're going to we're gonna turn this on. I said I was going to play a little bit of this. We'll, we'll try it. Uh, obviously, won't be playing very long, but that's okay. I don't need my thing for that. We'll just play it running. Down here. <laughs> we'll die right off the get-go. Oh, two hits. I move it slow. Oh, that's all right. It's funny. They come back over time, too. Like, you don't have to have the door open. Come on. Wow, I haven't had anything yet. There we go. That'll give us... Give us three new ones out of one side or another. Ah, of course, out of the same one. There we go. We get three new ones. Don't come out of the bottom again. There we go. Oh, those are the ones that are kind of hard to get. Get those open now while I still can. There we go. And we'll go this way. Zoink. No fun if I don't have a recognizer about. I don't know that I'll get it or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Bingo. Oh, we got, we got about, about 10 2. I think the stream gets over five minutes early, too, for the next people to come on, which is cool. I got about four minutes left to go here. We'll just keep running and gunning and see what happens here. 
Another. No, it didn't. Three from the top. There we go. No, we got this hard to get all the doors open, actually. Yeah, we got all 12 doors open. Sight. There we go. We got some recognizers out here now. Ah, the bloody guy from the top. I don't like him. Get out of there! Ha! Didn't get him. Close all twelve. That's all right. I think I got two minutes left of the stream. I don't know how to know when we're done, though, actually, guys. I don't know how it is. So let me let me just say this, then, in case I only have a couple minutes of the stream. But thanks a lot for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the gameplay. I hope that I didn't play too much Strong Solar Sailor. It's a, I like the game, and it's it's kind of a misunderstood game that you don't see played a whole lot. Um, so I thought it'd be worth playing. Um, not many people really want to play it either, you know, to tell you the truth. Uh, I really do like it. This game, people like to play it. You see it a lot. So not as big of a deal. Play a little bit more Solar Sailor than this during this during this. Trip. Hey, hey, stop that. Psych, three in a row, please. Three out of top or bottom or something. Nope. Oh, freak sakes, I got smart ones out there already. Oh no, I'm going to die. If I don't get up there, I'm going to die. Come on, I'm dead. Which is just fine. Which is just fine because it's time to be done anyway. Um, let me see, 554. I think they wanted us off at 52. Um, I'm not seeing, I'm going to double check to see if I have any instructions on here. Uh... Four minutes until we have to cut. That was at 551, so that's just the right time. Al Berman, please sign off. I am signing off right now. I'm going to go... Uh, let's see. Guys, one more time. Thank you so much for, to INTV Prime for doing this. Thanks so much to the Television Collector for letting me uh, stream a little bit of Beachhead today. And this was absolutely awesome. I really enjoyed it. If I only had a room to hit my microphone on at the very beginning, but, you know, whatever. Things happen. So don't forget, join me, uh, Papa, Pete, uh, Papa Pete, the old guy gamer on YouTube. Uh, do all kinds of television stuff and other stuff as well. Uh, and just really enjoy it. And I wish I was out in PRGE land today, but I'm not. So for those of you who are out there, have a great time. It's uh, something you look forward to all year long. And it's been, what, three years now? So absolutely beautiful. Um, take care, guys. We will see you uh sometime in the near future, hopefully on my channel. Take care. Hey, this is Ferg from the Atari 2600 Game by Game Podcast, and you are watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 15.